Carrera's multi-channel mixer makes it easy to combine two completely different shaders within a single shading domain. You can almost think of it like a 3D version of an audio mixer, where you have two songs going and the mixer can crossfade between the two of them. The multi-channel mixer may look complex at first because of the number of nodes, but they're actually quite simple. They work exactly the same as mix nodes contained inside other shaders, but multi-channel mixers affect complete shaders rather than individual aspects. To quickly show how the shader function works, I dropped a sphere into a simple scene. In the shader room, I'll apply a shader. With a wizard, I'll just use a preset which is included in Carrera. This one's called Strange. Now in the top node of the shader, you can click Multi-Channel and select Multi-Channel Mixer from the drop-down menu. This creates two layers for shaders and a mixer node. Carrera automatically moves the shader we first applied into the top layer. To make it easier to see what's going on, you can click this arrow and collapse the layer containing the first shader. Now in the second layer, I'll apply a radically different shader. I'll apply the organic metal shader which comes included with Carrera. This bottom node is a channel which controls which shader is visible. For example, I'll simply use a 0 to 100 value slider. At 0, the top layer is seen. At 100, the bottom one is seen. At 50, both are mixed evenly. Like all other nodes in Carrera, this one can be animated. I'll set it to a value of 0 at frame 1 and 100 a few seconds later. Here's what the animation looks like. The mixer doesn't have to be a value slider. You can use anything you like to control the mixing, such as a texture map, noise, patterns, elevation, etc. While the funky red glass to bumpy metal might be kind of neat, here's a more practical example. I modeled a door and made a bump map for it. The color channel is just a color gradient controlled by the bump map. The door looks nice and rustic, but I think it would look more interesting if it had some old and weathered but brightly colored paint. In addition to color, paint has a slightly shinier and smoother surface than wood does. So I made a separate shader for the paint and saved it to the browser. After bringing the door into the texture room, I changed the top node to multi-channel mixer, then drop my paint shader into the second channel. Now for the mixer, I'll just copy and paste my bump map from the wood shader and paste it into the mixer. This is okay, but I want a thicker, more realistic coverage to the paint. In the mixer, I'll add a curves node with my texture map below it. I can adjust the curves to clip transitions from paint to wood and make them even more sharp. So there's a pretty neat looking antique door using only one texture map. Now here's one of the things that makes using multi-channel mixers incredibly handy. Let's say I decide that I want a different paint on the door. I can just change the paint color or I can apply a completely different shader into the second channel. No further adjustment needs to be done. Pretty much anything that you can do with a multi-channel mixer can also be done with a single channel shader. However, doing it this way is a lot less complex, easier to make changes, and often less taxing on system memory. Multi-channel mix shaders can be nested too. This means you can create a mix shader that contains two mix shaders which also contain more shaders. Remember, you can use just about any node you like in the mix channel. You can use terrain or pattern functions or formulas, or you can get really crazy and drop in animations into the mixer.